Welcome in, guys. How we doing? Hello, hello, hello. Mizuno Sakura, welcome in. How are you, Michi? Mimi? Buzz Light, welcome in. All them romantic. How's it going? Hello, hello. Good to see you guys. I'm just going to grab some water and then we'll start up. Got a cheeky couple little announcements. We're going to play through the demo. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. What's up, Goblin Gang? I'm here. That's your uh, your new names from now on. How are you doing? Welcome in. Violence? I didn't say all that. King, welcome in. How are you doing? JP, what's up? A lot of violence. I believe he said go MK. I didn't say any of that. <laughs> I will not be subjected to this. I will not be held responsible. How are we all doing? Mitchy. Mitchy. Why are we doing this? Come on. Come on, it's our first spilt milk stream in a while. Maybe he said violets, like Palmer vi Yeah, exactly. That sounds more accurate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. E easily misheard. Easily misheard. Uh, Miss Gravestone, welcome in. How are you doing? Good to see you. 
It's been a year? Really? Since the last Spill Milk stream? That doesn't sound real. But I believe you. Wow. Well. We got a new little command if you guys, uh, you know, would like to support Trash Goblin. Exclamation point. Wish list better pop up. I'm waiting for you. Moobot. Why have you done this? Moobot. Why dost thou forsake me? On this day. The command was ready. It was waiting. And it doesn't want to work. Oh. I think Moobot's having some issues. Moobot is not sent to your chat. Some functionality may be unavailable. How about if we try now? Yay! <laughs> Moobot was having a tantrum. That's all it was, guys. Don't worry about it. So, for those of you that don't know, I'm about to show you Trash Goblin. Excited for the stream? Adore the demo? Have you... Well, should I give you guys cheeky little news now or cheeky little news later? Now or later? Your answer may affect what I do. But, actually, you know what we should do? We should check out, as you guys may have noticed from the starting soon screen. One cheeky new now, one cheeky new later. That's actually a really good idea. I like that. You're taking time out of work for this? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So. The first bit of news, as you guys may have seen, we have a release date for early access. Three years and six months is wild. Wow. That is so wild. Thanks for supporting for so long, JP. I appreciate that. So we have a release date that if I head back to the screen, you guys can see if you were paying attention. It's the 6th of November. Welcome in, JH. How are you doing? So, if you guys would like to play Early Access, you don't have too long to wait. And... Why he kinda... Why he kinda what? <laughs> why he kinda what? Pip, welcome in. How are you doing? What time zone is that based? UK time. Why he kinda what? Mimi. You talking about him? Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Why don't I look extra HD? I don't know. That's not my decision. Oh, you're on 60 FP. Ah, so that's what it is. Excited to watch? That's one dapper lizard. Right, look at him. So, I'm going to take you guys through the trailer, which you may or may not have seen. If you haven't, then it's exciting stuff. Look at this. He is dapper, dapper for a reason, and you guys will find out soon. I'm looking forward to finding out just how, well, I, it's hard not to say, hmm reasons why he may or may not be dapper guys why do you think he might be so dapper i feel like i will hold my tongue and behave i'm scared this concerns me but here's the trailer let me so you guys can see it These, I was going to shut up, but these noises are really satisfying. I could fall asleep to them. And there it is, 6th of November. I really love this idea for the trailer as well. I think it's great. You hear that, guys? Donovan's about to go uh, play the demo on Steam. And you in the Discord. You should uh, probably follow suit on that. <laughs> Exclamation point wishlist if you haven't wishlisted the game already. Go check it out. And you can play the demo that we're about to play as well. So. Next month? Right, it's crazy, isn't it? Shout out to Grandma's Egg. This trinket looks really cool, actually. That previous one before the upcycling just now. <gasps> mm. 
Yeah, I want to see the new tools. Hey. He looks like me. There's a couple of new characters I feel you guys have not seen yet that pop up in this trailer. But do we have any favorites? Oh, I hope it comes to consoles one day. Me too. <laughs> I know a lot of you are a Switch fan, so yeah. Cute little tease, cute little tease. I hope you guys enjoyed the trailer. We're gonna hop on that demo. Relatable? Wait, which part's relatable? What's up, Stray? Crafty people are gonna have a field day with this game. Right? Okay. So here we are, hopping into the game. Oh, the console part? You're a, uh, I hope it comes to consoles one day type of guy, Mitchie. I feel that. I feel like I've increasingly felt myself become... I, Weirdly, I blame League of Legends, even though I didn't really play League of Legends that much. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely playing a lot more PC games right, uh, lately. I'd give my husband's left kidney to play this on Switch. <laughs> Honestly, valid. Being afraid of needles is a, a valid fear. I can imagine uh, streaming this game with like lo-fi in the background chilling, right? Lo-fi is like so perfect for this game. We did, uh, some of you may know, some of you may not know, we did actually have a Kickstarter goal for uh, lo-fi music alongside this as well. We were so close to getting it as well. And I know a lot of people really wanted it, but I don't know. Who knows? No promises, but maybe there'll be some motivation if we hit a ton of wish lists. Go like, I don't know. So share it with your friends who you feel will like it. Share the link around. Let them know. Share the trailer. You know, uh, with indie games, it's always super helpful when you guys help spread this kind of thing through word of mouth. So shout out to all of you that have shared with friends already and, you know, just been sharing the content with the game as well. Um, and also anyone that shared their um, upcycling trinkets with us, their upcycle trinkets with us. Um, if I'm slow today, I have a major headache. So keep that in mind, please, gang. <laughs> so I'm going to do some upcycling in the game today and see if I can make the ultimate abomination. And if you guys would like to uh, raise the challenge, take some medicine. I've, I've been taking medicine for the past week. And I'm one of those people where at a point, I'm like, I can't be on medicine forever. So I have to stop. Like... <laughs> Pop the Broly boost. What? Hit me with some colors. I have the urge to make bracelets. Orange. Purple. Oh no, the auto-tune. Okay, we can't do that now. We can't do that now. We can't ruin the demo. At the end, I'll auto-tune you up. Tea is a good idea, actually. I should have got some tea before starting. But let's hit the new game. Welcome to the Trash Goblin demo. In this cozy shopkeeping game, you're a little goblin with big dreams. That sounds just like me for real. In the employ of Eamon, the kindly antique dealer who works upstairs. Your goal is to sell trinkets and save up enough money to start your very own archaeology business. Sacks of goblin knows what are delivered to your shop every day. That is a goblin. Sorry, I the chat distracted me. That's a... The colossal goblin. Wow. What's up, Grix? How are we doing? Welcome in. <laughs> in the impl Sorry. Sacks of Goblin knows what are delivered to your shop every day. So chip the dirt away to find whatever is hiding underneath. Sell them as is or spend some time cleaning them. To, to hawk them. That word has been ruined for me. To hawk them for higher price. I just now clocked that. Uh, once you've brought a sponge, of course. Manage your time to make the most of every day or just enjoy um, pottering in your cozy little space. It's up to you. Beast Boy is a goblin. I kind of see it. It does kind of look like Beast Boy, actually. I actually didn't process that. It does kind of look like Beast Boy. Um. Okay. So starting work. Let's get to it, shall we? What do you guys... First of all, one in the chat if you played the demo already. Two if you haven't. I know some of you may have played a variation of the demo, but have you played this one? I love it when Beast Boy is Beast Boy. What a relatable guy. I love Beast Boy. Shout out Beast Boy and Terra. There we go. So right click to move around. Left click. We're destroying the little blocks. This noise is actually mad satisfying for no reason. I mean, there is a reason, but you know what I mean. What do we think is in here? Because there's a lot of twos. 
What do we think is inside? Thoughts, gang? Especially two gang who don't know. A ring? Okay, we got a ring for a guess. You haven't played since the demo released or originally. Okay, well, you definitely got to check this out because there are a lot of differences to that original demo. Even visually, like we made a video on TikTok recently that shows like um the first version of the game pretty much that we put out for this and a goblin <laughs> that's insane and then it also shows like uh this this one like this modern version that we have and it's kind of crazy how different it looks all right got a bracelet a goblin a trinket i mean you're not wrong that's fair that is the correct answer it's a bottle in it this probably belonged to jack sparrow or someone of that ilk i would imagine all right, so now that we got our nice little trinket. Also, I heard someone just said in my right ear. You guys hear that? Pink. We throw that in the little stash. So this is our little stash with all the trinkets we got in that we can, you know, put on the desk. Have a nice little look at. Oh, speaking of these bottles. Hold on. Let me put this back. This is weirdly one of the most satisfying things for no reason. I could do a whole ASMR stream just doing this. <laughs> that was mad fun. That's what I'm saying. All right. What other things would you guys be like? This this would be like cool to interact with on the desk out of curiosity. Aside from this doll. And the coin that I know you want to steal. I'll be fidgeting with them instead of playing the game, Loki. I mean, that is a part of playing the game. Warring the plant. That sounds cool. As you can see as well, when we take an action, um, the bar goes down. There is no, like, timer in the game. So, like, when you start the game, there's no pressure to do something as fast as possible or, like, reach um, a specific point in it at a specific given time. But, like, you take action and, like, a bar goes down and then it'll move on to the next day. So, I know uh, a bunch of you are Persona fans. That's the best way I can equate it is it's kind of like the social link system in persona where like you take an action and it just moves forward time a little bit newton's cradle that clack 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 <laughs> all right i do want to oh wait no this is always the mistake i make i always forget to clean the craft and then it ruins me for the rest of the day all right oh look at that familiar guy good day to you I've heard tell you're the goblin to come to when in search of certain rare items. Yeah, you come to the right goblin. He's looking for a hairpin. So every time I play this, I'm like, huh. Why does he need a hairpin? This is as much use as I would get out of a hairpin. You know? Like, there's not a lot going on here. So when you think about the lore implications of why he, for, the, for his kids... I mean, maybe he has kids. I was thinking another reason he might need that hairpin. But who knows? We're getting head cannons for him already. Of what he's going to use the hairpin for. They're amazing for pinning clothes. There we go. Another option. Who knows? What is the correct answer? Maybe there isn't one. Alright, so let's get him a hairpin. So we know that he needs a hairpin now. And all we have is this. Oh, wait. He would take that? Should we sell this to him? I feel like, nah, let me hold on to it for a moment. I feel like we should hold on to this. Lockpick? That that was where I was going with that, to be honest, Mitchie. You're in the same brain as me. There we go. All right, it's a big boy puzzle comparative to the, the bottle we had earlier. I don't know if you guys noticed since the last time we streamed this as well. But now, there is actually... Um, like an original song for when you're doing the puzzle which did not exist before when we streamed this prior so that's pretty cool and would you look at that that is the prettiest hairpin i think i've ever seen to be honest he looks like he's about to steal a heart from a palace explain what <laughs> what's this a reference to are there sound settings there are indeed hold on let me see if i can show you real quick and we're out of time. You've used up all your time today. Each time you uncovered a trinket, use that one time slot. Tracked in the UI on the left side of the screen. So this is what I was showing you guys earlier right here. 
You can still buy and sell what you have found. Talk to the NPCs and explore your workshop. That's cool. And put that down. Clean up that craft. No, I fumbled again. All right. I'll put the hairpin in. So here are the options we got right now. You can control like... Should I turn it up? You guys want me to turn the music up a little bit? We can turn the entirety of the game up. We can turn the music down. So as JP was suggesting, how this would be really good for lo-fi music. Hey, you can throw on uh, lo-fi girl in the back. Turn the music down. And listen to the sound effects if you really want. Play the game at whatever, you know, whichever way suits you best. You can even pop it out so it's not full screen as well. If you want to have like a YouTube window up, you know. You wanted to hear the new track bad? You want me to turn it up? We'll hear it again. So if I turn it up, you'll hear it even better. Turn the sound effects down just a little bit. But yeah, we have like an array of accessibility options as well for everyone. So you found the lo-fi Skyrim soundtrack on you. I can't even imagine how that sounds. You got me curious though. All right. Well, we know what he wanted. He wanted a hairpin. This is pretty and I don't really want him to have it because I want it. But you know. Oh my, however, did you know? It's because you, you you did tell me, guy. Alright, no, Edmonds, it's a deal. Let's go. Alright, and now we take our cash. Throw it in our stash. Bars. And we're there. It always makes me sad to sell the hairpin. Because, right? That's what I'm saying, Mizuno. I was thinking the same thing. Like literally. The hairpin is probably I think it it's probably top five trinkets for me in the game. Of all those I've seen. Like, I really like it. Can we buy it back when we're rich? That is a very good question. That is a very good question indeed. And I like how you say, when we're rich. What up, boss man? Hey, a goblin. Oh, I told you before, I don't like it when you call me boss. This is a partnership. This boss of yours has a lovely old sponge if you're after one. Go on then. A hundred for a sponge is crazy, Eamon. But let's go for it. <laughs> you said it's rude from Final Fantasy? You saying that because he's bald? Come on, man. Come on, man. And we got our sponge. Now, this is one thing I really like is the progression of this. In regards to like getting more tools so that we can actually do more throughout the game. And it just opens up more paths. Your boss is allowed into that one Final Fantasy 7 <laughs> He's talking about in Reba. <laughs> You're funny for that. Guys, this is like peak goblin um, bed design. It may not be good for humans, but for goblins, let's turn the lights out because we're going to sleep. But for goblins, this is actually extremely ergonomic. You don't even know. What up, Bo? How you doing? Welcome in. We got a map. The chasm. I don't want to hear a peep out of Genshin Impact fans. <laughs> I know I said the chasm. Someone's going to say something. Harkfell. River Hunter. Interesting. Got some nice little lore going on with the map and the location. Cozy Nook for sleeps is goal. Dandadan Dan is wild. Yes. On the topic of Dandadan. Dan. Very good. I, I say very good anime. I haven't seen it. Um, but I did really enjoy the manga for it. For the first two volumes that I read. I think I got the first three. Alright, bedtime. Let's go. What up, break spot? Welcome in. How you doing? I thought you said the One Piece isn't out in the West. My brain is ruined. There we go. I like that it comes up with, like, it tells you what you found. Um, how much you've earned. Stuff like that at the end of the day as well. So you can keep track, keep record. Right, what new things did we get today? You guys can see we've got the nice little sponge on the desk. Do you know what I will do that I don't think I ever do when I play through this demo? Is I get the bottle and I don't bother. I don't think I... Nah, let me not. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I don't do that because I don't want to waste the time slot just yet. Let's see what new trinkets we get first. The one piece is real. Can we get my chaya? We should definitely add a log post. In this game, if there isn't one, I do really like the sound of that as well. Just to, you know, keep track of everything he's done. It's, yeah, that's a log pose. Like, Nami. Boo. Good one piece job, though. 
But like, especially when you've got like a ton of uh, trinkets sitting in there, I guess it'd be easier to keep track of when you got everything. What still may be there without scrolling through it. Look at that. I don't know, bro. I don't know. That's one of my favorite sounds. With the glass. <laughs> Maybe jab into the the trinket music. Now you can hear it. We got a horn. I can't look at this horn without thinking of... Uh, is this Shrek 2? Where they're summoning Shrek and Fiona. So now we can actually clean the trinket. But they're summoning Shrek and Fiona. And then... <laughs> And then they can, um, and then there's that one guy that comes with the trumpet with the Hawaii Five-O meme. He doesn't even play a horn, but every time I see this, I just think of that. Makes me feel like a cheeky detective. Oh, the music. I kind of get that. I feel those vibes. So someone on TikTok actually compared this to, um, one Nintendo dogs, which is true. Like when you're cleaning the dogs up, that was a choice for me to have said that sentence in that particular way. The internet is crazy. The internet has changed the meaning of every and any word possible. So that's great. Um, but also in Pokemon, when you clean the badges in Gen 4. All right, we did a nice little clean. Put it in the stash. All right, this is a big boy puzzle. I love this as well. There's so many like satisfying little things that just like I think I could follow this pattern forever. Honestly, I feel like we could release a whole side game of just tapping the, the purple slot and going around like infinitely. Like snake, but it's the purple block. What do you guys think this one's going to be, though? Because, again, we know a lot of you haven't actually been able to play the demo yet. And, again, if you do want to do that, exclamation point wishlist. And make sure to wishlist the game as well, because it helps. Thank you very much. You think it's a helmet? Fair. Not terminally online, so I'm also confused. God bless you. <laughs> I'm happy for you. And jealous. A skull? A helmet and a skull are very specific and kind of similar. I'm a Gen Zia. It's your fault, JP. I think it's your fault. There we go. That looks safe. Hmm. What could it be? Is it just this? No one got it. It's an elephant kettle. That's actually a cool design. So when you pour the elephant kettle, you have to hold both handles. Or actually, if you think about it, it's really romantic because it means one person can hold one handle and another hold the other one and you pour the tea or the coffee together. I think that's really cute. Happy early birthday, Fallen Romantic. I had my birthday last week. I'm far from the Gen Z range, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I say far. It depends. Depends on how you classify time. Thanks, Fallen. I appreciate it. What's up, Joey? Trash Goblin looks great, but I'm really hoping for <laughs> a Mind Goblin spinoff. What would that involve? What does that entail? 33, that's my bet on the oldest. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Hey, thanks, Bright Spark. Thank you for the pin. That's an elephant? It is. I mean, it's not a real elephant. It's just an elephant cow. So, you're just barely considered Gen Z. Yeah, you would be like, what's what's after Z? Is it Alpha? This is actually doing... I'm not going to lie. This is doing wonders for my headache. It's just that noise. There we go. Yeah, I'm millennial as hell. 
alpha and then zero could you imagine being called gen zero that's so epic that sounds like something from like evangelion that's not even real if you blew into the elephant kettle would it <laughs> would it trump it i mean Since someone compared us to Nintendogs already, we might as well go full send and allow you to use the microphone in the game and find out. About to replay the demo just because of stream. Let's go. Don't forget, guys, when we get to upcycling, I'm going to try and make like the greatest abomination of all time. And I do implore you guys, make your own. Share it with us in Discord and in Reddit as well. If you type a trash goblin into Reddit, you shall find our subreddit. You can share your R. Uh, your favorite gameplay clips, whatever to do with Trash Goblin. All right, let's figure out what they want. That I think I already have. Can I help you? They want an elephant kettle to heat her tea. Can birds drink tea? Bo, I wish you luck. Downloading the demo. Let's go. Don't forget to wish list, you guys. It helps a lot. Why not? I don't know because like I feel like if I served tea to like a cat that wouldn't be good but like can I don't know can their tongues like handle the heat unclear there you go deal and now we have upcycling a new up like upcycling tool has been added to your workbench more than 20 fun new trinkets added to the stash use the upcycling tool on a clean trinket on your mat to get started all right, I'm not telling you guys the cheat code. Get out here. You can read that yourself. <laughs> I'll let you do that when you get to. To be fair, no. If you want to, if you guys want to get to upcycling straight away and compete with me during the stream, since I know a lot of you guys are downloading right now, if you do uh, press the P key, you can unlock the um, the upcycling tool and a bunch of little trinkets to get yourself started. What about an iced tea? Now that seems probably fine, I imagine. But yeah, caffeine is probably yeah. Yeah, I, I imagine caffeine's pretty bad for them. Alright, we got stuff. We already got stuff going on, you guys. Uh, <laughs> what what should I use as the basis for this? I will let chat vote. So we got the bottle, a horn, goblin mask, goblin lantern. That sounds like a certain DC superhero. A bottle. Beer sign handle, glass sign. No, I don't think we should use the eyes. Or the cork, obviously. Uh, crown and key. The Lich Crown. 874 combo. How? For what, by the way, Bo? Lower? Oh, the tiara? Are we talking the tiara? We also have a miniature wizard hat. Okay. I feel like we should put the tiara on something though. So we'll use the tiara and we'll... It's very obvious. I always want to put stuff on the grandma egg. But instead, you know what I will do? So this is the upcycling tool. Here we go. Oh, we can't put the crown on it just yet. Hold on. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work with that. That's fine. So what can we put on? We can put this. That makes perfect sense. Now can I put the crown on it? No, I can't. Alright. I say we choose something else then. Since we're trying to base it on the crown. Or the tiara. T and tiara. We're meant to make these make sense? No. <laughs> That's Bright Spark, and this is how you won Abomination of the Week. Congratulations. Clean your bench? I cannot. <laughs> That's why I said that always claps me. I did try it earlier, but it didn't it didn't pull through, unfortunately. Um hmm. So this is just an attachment for it. Okay. So I say we put these together. To start. So then it actually... There you go. Completed tiara. I like this pattern. 
And then, how can we attach the horn to this? A royal horn? Let's see what else we can attach to this. Nah, that will stop it. Let's try something else. Nicholas, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. How are you? Okay. Um, let's try the loot. Because we can actually... That is... Can you even play this anymore? That'd be a terrible mead horn. But at least you would look really royal, though. A natural charm. I mean, this looks cool, but I don't know if you can use it for its intended use anymore. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, there are no strings there, so. I think that's all we got on this, huh? Yeah, the tiara is a hard one to base stuff on. Guys, abomination level out of 10? What are we saying? You put this on your wall. There's now a, fa a fancy blunt weapon. No, no, no. Goblins don't need that. <laughs> Not this one, anyway. You think it's a 2? 4 out of 10? Yeah, I don't think this is super abomination worthy. It's actually kind of cute. Unless, maybe we should actually try and make something cute. It turned out pretty, right? Like, it looked kind of... Maybe it, that's just a curse. I can only make pretty things. Sorry, guys. So, what else should we try and make a nice little upcycle from? All abominations need to be grandma egg. I think that's probably correct. I, or well, this, you know, this is an option. <laughs> I feel like both. Let's combine them. Yeah, let's, let's go that route. Let's do this. Oh, hold on. We'll start with the grandma egg. Though. Oh, no. <laughs> See, that's a great reaction. That's what we want. Hmm. Doesn't look like we can combine them, though. So maybe I'll do the fist to something else. I kind of like the hat. The hat feels cute. It looks like the, um, the head, the headmistress from Wistoria Wand and Sword. I kind of like that. Bedpan is an option. Doesn't this look like Robot Wars? Is anyone else seeing that? Like, I feel like we could... If Go uh, Trash Goblin had its own, like, Robot Wars series, this would easily be able to compete. Grandma Tank. Exactly. <laughs> Bam Zuki! Oh my god. Wow. That's a throwback. I don't really see that, though. Yeah, this, this feels like some kind of abomination to me. Bedpan grandma. I felt like we could make it worse though. Nah, wrong one. Actually, is that the wrong one? Because if I put this here, then we might be able to. No, we can't. Um, that's what I just put back. There you go. I think bedpans used to be called the article. Wait, what? Really? Why? Are most items up to free combos? I think if you're creative enough, we can we can do more. Because Bright Spark, with your abomination of the week, I'm sure you did like five. It was something, it was something wild. I wish I could remember exactly what it looked like so I could recreate it right now. But this is as abominable. Nah, it's not really the right word. As we're getting right now with that. Um, I think we try the fist. I absolutely think we try the fist. I was trying to fit as many as I could. Yeah, it was like five or six or something wild. Why she look like a bishop? I didn't say it, but I also thought it. All right. Let's see what we got going on with this. That already? You count eight? Eight is crazy. Where can a goblin mask even? What? <laughs> Why is it in the eye, by the way? Actually, wait. Yeah, I think. Hold on. We're definitely. Yeah, I think we can continue to make this super curse. We're doing good, guys. Hold on. Will it fit in there? 
Or is it just... Oh, no, it's going there. That... What is going on here? Oh, wait, yeah, because we can put something on the end here. That's good. I think we put, like, an eye on the end. Oh, it won't fit there. No, I don't want to put the eye there because that will end it. Will it fit here? I think it will. Please be careful about the place. Like, what have I done? <laughs> the <laughs> you said it looks like a metaphor re Fantasio boss. I kind of see it. I would say this is... Does anyone think they can make more of an abomination than this? If you can, hop in our Discord server, exclamation point Discord, and post it in the Trash Goblin section in there. And yeah, let me know. Because to be honest, this might be it. This might be the one. I think we I think we did it. Amazing. You want to know how much this fine art could sell for? Very good question. I don't want it. I'm hearing Jon Snow's voice right now. Oh, wait, hold on. How much? How much is that? I can't see. 475. Okay. Should we give it a go? I never. A new shop that I've never visited ever before. What fun. Hello, strange goblin, who I've never met. Awfully suspicious. That's kind of familiar, don't he? It's not just because he looks a little bit like me. Well, they look a little bit like me. Isn't that your boss? You already have this? Oh. How was that possible? <laughs> okay. That's fine. I thought I was really creative today. But you already have one of these. I, I want to know what they use it for. This guy's a mustache. Totally different guy. Yeah, you're right. All right, so they want a clean grandma's egg. Good thing we didn't use that to upcycle then. Where is the grandma's egg? There you are. Hold on. I think we did clean it. Actually, this might not be clean. Unclear. I might be lying. Did we do it? What are the chances? This is exactly what I was after. Let's go. Deal. Let's go now, Edmonds. More cash. Alright. I think it's bedtime, gang. I can't believe that they already have one of our special trinkets that we made together as a, as a community. Oh, no. I cannot. Let's turn all the lights off. All right, bedtime now. Scaring children, it's October after all. Happy Halloween. All right, so we discovered the horn and the elephant kettle. All right, let's go. A new trinket, gang. Your guess is, oh, didn't leave it on the, uh, on the map properly. What are we guessing? What do we think is in here? Any thoughts? Any guesses before we get it? Faced with the fact originality doesn't exist. Exactly. Everything is recycled and upcycled. That's the truth of the goblin world. Schrodinger's trash? Alright, bro. A mask? <laughs> so, while I'm doing this, and you guys are guessing... Um... You guys want to hear some good news? A bedpan? I mean, we do have one of those, but... Could you be correct? Ready for good news? <laughs> 
anime villain arc. So, you guys, we have a new demo coming out. <laughs> Let's go. And even more news is going to be, yes, really. So you guys playing this today, you'll be able to enjoy more and something a little bit more new as well there we go we got grandma's egg 2.0 let's go bars i think so within that demo we're gonna have the first 30 minutes of the uh full game including the story uh characters and a proper tutorial as well so look forward to that um 20 trinkets to experiment with uh through chipping cleaning upcycling and selling and some more refined controls so look forward to that you guys and um next week we may have potentially not promising nothing no promises we may have a special guest could be a fan favorite unclear if you know you know i'm not no promises i'm not naming any names and no promises just just putting that out there is it who I think it is? It might be. It might not be. Just saying. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Miss P, welcome in. How are you doing, Miss Patient? This is Trash Goblin. And thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. We won, chat. <laughs> You're funny for that. Miss Patient, this is Trash Goblin. So, um... Us at Spill Milk Studios were working on this. We announced the early access for the 6th of November. And we got a new demo coming out. So we're just streaming, showing the demo. It's super cozy and relaxing. And I'm not gaslighting you because I know that people do that to you and make you play games that are not cozy and relaxing, as I've seen. So, <laughs> But this is actually cozy and relaxing. Like, I actually have a banging headache. But for some reason, the scrubbing sounds and like finding trinkets is... I play this? I know. This fills up your alley. I need a PC at the end of the year? I believe in you. You got this. What we got going on over here? What a quaint looking shop. If you say so, no. Let's let's be nice. I like it. Mine. I'm Red War, by the way. Blacksmith of the Wolves Mercenary Group. Are you famous? I think I've heard of you. We've been operating in the area for a while now. Our esteemed leader has been hired to help some nearby villages with a bandit problem. Silver City here is staging ground for us to resupply and recover. They're proving to be more tenacious than expected. Wow, that, yeah, damn. It can be, but enough about all that work stuff. I need a horn for drinking. The old one got a bit too close to the furnace. Why, why were you drinking while... <laughs> I mean, some people drink where they work, I guess. We do have a horn. There we go. Uh, Miss P, how was the, the digger digs earlier as well, by the way? I hope you guys had fun. Right. So, I think we're ready to sell. Wonderful. Sounds good to me. Money, please. Here we go. You didn't hurt anyone or yourself? Let's go. Proud of you. That's what I like to hear. Right, so. Another guess. One sec, you guys. Okay, we're good. Another guess. We got to keep the hard hat. Oh, okay, I'm jealous. I kind of wish I, I could have gone now. <laughs> I wish I could have gone. Guys, what do we think is in here? It's got like my favorite, my favorite. Is this my favorite trinket? Um, Not trinket, sorry. My favorite noise for the puzzles or is it the purple one? I don't know. I kind of like both. Book. You have a question? You sound like me when I'm in Pacious Stream. <laughs> like, actually. That's 50% of what I say. Goblin mask? 
Wait, when you say, did you mean book stand? Did you get auto corrected? I'm guessing you meant book stand, Jage. Okay, that makes sense. Book stand, we'll go with that. When you guys first started with this game, wasn't there numbers on the thingies? That is actually well remembered, yes. So it was kind of like a pit cross where there was like a puzzle. But honestly, we decided to go for the more like relaxing route and just do more of like a visual puzzle as opposed to mathematic. <laughs> I like it. Okay. I'm glad you like the change. Because honestly, I think I do think the um the pit cross was quite fun as well, but the, yeah, again, I think with the, the cozy relaxing vibe we're trying to bring with this game, this definitely fits a lot. Wait, what we got going on? You like math? Yeah, we know. <laughs> Some of us have to, I guess. So yeah, if you, again, if you've played the original demo and you haven't played this one, you absolutely have to, to give this one a go. See, this is, abs whatever you guys thought it was, it's probably not going to be it because there's so much more to chip off here than... I don't think I've unearthed this trinket before, actually. I might be lying. Maybe I just have it in... Mm, I'm clear. All right, let's clean it since this is what they want. Stein's Gate, let's go. You solve your problems by avoiding maths? Fact. You are the same as me. You are just like me. Been played since December 23rd. You're loving it so far? I'm glad you're having a good time with it. Again, exclamation point wish list. Go and share the Steam page and the trailers with your friends. Spread the word. And again, join the Discord. Follow us on Twitter. Up in the reddit and just share your favorite things about the game with us because i think one especially with us indie devs right it definitely helps to give the devs more power to know you got how excited you guys are about the game and see you guys hyped up about it just as much as the devs are so yeah thank you for hanging out with us today watching this playing the demo hanging around is there a place for bug reporting yes discord server join the discord server and there will be, there is a section in there. You just lurk in the Discord. We appreciate the lurk. Hopefully it's helpful for you when you're getting like, you know, like news and updates about the game and like what's going on too, so. Here we go. Stash it up. Thanks. Of course, no problem. Oh, who are you? D I don't want to hear he's kind of in the chat, okay? We know. <laughs> Not twice in one day, please. Good day. I hear you're the goblin with access to all sorts of unusual items. Well, I need a bottle. Can you help? Let's see what I can do. A clean bottle. Did I actually clean one earlier? Is this considered clean? I think so. What do you need this for? Are you storing like potions in it? You look like you do magic. But yeah, is a bottle unusual? I mean, maybe an empty bowl. I don't know. I wasn't going to say anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, let's see. I like it. That's great. Go on, deal. All right, person of little words, I see. They so knew what they wanted. They got it, and that's it. What else we got, guys? This is a big one. The Colossal Trinket. It's crazy how this is actually solving my headaches that I've had the entire day. Incredible. I'm not even exaggerating. Like, I'm not... I thought... I was like, maybe maybe this headache thing... As long as i got water, I'll be okay. It's... It's... Unironically... My head feels better, weirdly. Maybe I just needed to relax. <laughs> That's what it was. Cannot wait to just dump 50 hours into picking at little dirt cubes. I think this is like, yeah, 
It's very therapeutic. That's one thing. I think similar to conversations I've had around um, Metaphor Refantasia, I can I can show you guys the level of um, therapy this feels as far as like unearthing the trinkets and stuff. But unless you play for yourself, you're not going to get like as good of a grasp. You understand when you play and mess around for yourself, which is why we have the demo. And again, encourage friends, family to uh, to give it a go if you feel that they'll like it. Especially if they love games like a little to the left, Power Wash Simulator. Gotta get Satsu on this. Buy Satsu a PC while you're at it. Get Satsu a Steam account. Get a second copy of the game. Stress headaches exist. It's definitely a stress headache. I think that's exactly what it is. Oh, yo. Wow. Yo, Unsta, welcome in. How are you doing? Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the prime. Very much appreciate it. What's going on? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. Unsta, your name means immortal in German. That's kind of awesome. Tuning in for some relaxing goblin shenanigans. Good thing you came to the right place. <laughs> Where am I looking? Where have I missed? Ah, there you go. Goblin and area is that goblin? Uh, what? <laughs> what? My brain can't figure that one out. Hello, mate. Hello again. Lovely to see you. Great to see you too. Funny story. That drinking horn got scorched too. <laughs> I need another drinking vessel. Maybe something that can resist fire. Yeah, I think we got that. We absolutely got that. Can we do another abomination? One in the chat if you want to see another abomination. And then we can end stream on the uh, the abomination. There you go. We got you. I need to do something. Huh. Hmm. I think I know what I need to do. This isn't quite an abomination. Oh, wait. Will it let me is the question. We'll see. Yeah, we're good. Never mind. I can't do what I thought I would. I was able to do. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. Come on, Kieran. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Wait. Hold on. I messed up. There you go. Cool. Now, I wonder if we'll get more for it. Bear in mind, it was like 50, right? We tried adding stuff to some jawbone crown I had, but couldn't find a good combination. I'm looking forward to seeing like all the all the stuff you guys come up with. There you go. We got a little milk for it. There we go. Let's hand it over. Combination. <laughs> the bedpan is crazy. Why would I do that to my paying customer? That's evil. Whoops. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we have run out of time for today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't resist doing that. All right. Clean the tank. I can't, guys. I can't. I tried. Day four. Right. That, you guys, is the end of stream for today. So, thank you for coming through. I appreciate it. We can't spoil too much of the demo. We got to let you, you know, figure out what you can play without seeing the whole thing. But hopefully you guys enjoyed our little playthrough. Actually, I'm lying. Wait, let's do a quick little abomination. I did promise that. 
I'm lying. Let me do a quick abomination. I think... We tried the liar, didn't we? Let's go for the hairpin tassel. No, wait. Is the regular hairpin here? No, let's go with this. We'll do this and then we'll end up stream. Let me keep my promise to you guys and do the... Uh... The last abomination and again make sure you share your abominations with me in discord as well this is not the one whoops maybe the hook i'm sure that will come up with something interesting this is like a sword hook but it also has like no like what even is what would that even nah this is just a, a hook sword which is actually kind of cool what's this we'll go with this <laughs> we'll go with this <laughs> uh There we go. Now, what do we put on this? The grandma. Yeah, it's over. Now, this is bright spark levels of abomination. Or it would be. Come on. I'm trying to get you to fit. All right. Uh. <laughs> What can we put on the head? The pot lid, I guess? There we go. I don't know what this is. But we did something. Let's see, and just in case we can add something on the bottom there. Should have used the pot lid on the beer mug. That's so true, actually. Yeah. That is so true. That would have been a good idea. All right. That's it for today, you guys. Again, look forward to next week where, um, you know, we may have a, a special little guest going on. You know, and going to play the demo right now. Meow. Why did you make me say that? <laughs> uh, also, hopefully you get a look at the new demo while we go through it as well. Um, but yeah. Why did you read it? Because I have eyes. But yeah, so... Um, Look forward to, to seeing us at Steam Next Fest. Look forward to trying the new demo. But make sure to try this one as well. So you can feel the jump from this to the next also. But yeah. I'll catch you guys next week. I will see you in the Discord. I will see you in Reddit. I will see you in Twitter. S pay attention to socials within the next week. Because we have something really cool going on as well. Um... You might you might see some other familiar faces pop up. That's all I'll say. Yeah. That's all I'll say on that. But be excited for it. Thank you for bearing with me, you guys. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you next time. Enjoy the rest of the day, gang. Bye.